story? Yes, I saw that. Uh, but uh, right. Steve, now, why is that? Why is that important? Because these are the people that are dismantling the United States to turn it into their happy hunting ground for the global elitists. And so, when I hear that someone high in the intelligence community has just defected, and he said that he will not be responsible for the death of twenty-five to fifty million Americans. If that doesn't get through, then Alex, I don't know how to talk. I don't know well, how to Steve, communicate. I want to be clear. The globalists want to re-engineer America. They want to, once and for all, break the back of the country. They need a massive culling. They need something like Stalin or Lenin did or Mao did. And to do that, they're going to need a cover, like flu, to get their people in place and to get the troops and military to go along with it to set that precedent. Why, for several years, we've confirmed in and around a flu outbreak how i mean are the troops that stupid that when the feds come and say gun owner militias are going to attack you at checkpoints well yeah because they're going to be at checkpoints breaking families up i've been to these drills now they're doing live action drills with real checkpoints uh, in missouri i just showed the mainstream news article earlier on screen how do they plan on fomenting this uprising don't the military and police realize they're going to corner the american people the people are going to riot because of starvation or not taking shots or whatever the case well, is. And then that sets the precedent to use the troops against us? Well, right. They, uh, listen, I, I would not put it past them, and I'm sure they got too many scenarios as relayed to me years ago. They will set up the ideal situation where they will force uh, specific people to fight for their lives, and then they're going to blame it as an ambush on the right wing. It'll only be paid international mercenaries attacking, you know, well-meaning, and I, I don't mean this with any disrespect, but really not that aware police and, and probably not that aware... Uh, uh, no, absolutely. Uh, Operation Northwood says attack our own police inside the country. Uh, they're going to murder police on camera and put it on the news to get the cops hyped up to wage war with the people. Right. And they want to get a civil war kicked off in this country to wreck everything. And just like Argentina, I've had their economist on, in a year, year and a half, people won't rebel anymore. They'll just be glad to have the electricity turned back on. Absolutely. That was what Khrushchev said. Americans would cave in six days without electricity, maybe six or seven days. So here's the deal, though. It's going to be important. You're saying, how can it be screwed up? They will have to play their hand of everybody in local law enforcement, the National Guard, just simply box at it. And listen, if they're given an order to kill their fellow countrymen, at that point they've got to consider who gave the order. Here's something, Alex, that will really help everybody understand. This is as specific as I can make it. You first, here's what they're doing, the PSYOPs. They're identifying a group. Now they're vilifying that group. Gun owners, militia, you name it. Whatever they fill in the blank, constitutionalists, patriots, radio talk show hosts, then they nullify them. Well, those, group, those people are no good. That's what Obama's acorn is all about and all of his grassroots movement. The fact that they have to put the National Security Agency, 1,000 people, on the Internet to try and debunk 9-11. Hello, people. Would you do that if there wasn't anything to it? And by the way, by the way, they admit now the Pentagon is hiring private contractors and has their own people out there countering us, countering the in the Fed groups. I mean, they're openly listing us as the enemy when obviously NORTHCOM is owned and run by foreign offshore banks that are engaged in a criminal, illegitimate corporate takeover of this country, Steve. I mean, I think the solution is you get the word out to the military, you get it out to the police, you point out that we've been right in the past, you give them the materials, I'm talking to listeners, like your lives and the future depends on it. Because I believe if we get the word out about this... And we show people and educate them and go, look, police, they built all this up. We know you got training for a flu outbreak in the last year before they even launched this. Don't you see how they built the infrastructure and right as it, as the, as it was complete, as the paint was drying, they launched this because they're behind schedule. This is staged. The flu shot doesn't protect you. It's deadly. The government's been caught putting chemical and biologicals in shots before. They're eugenicists. They have a plan for this. The globalists are trying to take down America. This is real. It's really happening. You've got to stand with the people and spread the word. If we don't do that, it's going to be bad. And we may not even completely stop them, but at least we can weaken what they do and hope they just fearmonger 
and settle for getting some soft kill cancer viruses and sterilants implanted in 20, 30 million idiots that take the shots.